Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you could set up a train rig for the train wheels with hydraulics. Um, so I made a little uh, sample object here and uh, let's get started. I have one wheel here and I'll start by cloning this out. I have um, not made this at uh, the real life proportions uh, of the wheels and so on, but that doesn't matter to the setup here. You can always fix that. I'll just whoops, clone this and move this 20 centimeters out. So, we have three wheels now and I will take this bar here move it out a bit and from the top view so you can see just outside the wheels and let's drag it down to the center here okay and I then have this here I'll drag this forward we'll use this in a minute this I'll drag forward as a part of the hyd hydraulics and I have this arm here which is going to help control <coughs> but in the beginning, sorry here I'm going to just add a nodal object here and I'm going to move this down to the center of the marker here and I'm going to drag it out like this. And I'm going to hit the M key and parent this to my first wheel, which in this case is the center wheel. So that it happened when I rotate the wheel, this null object will follow. Okay. I'll then do if a quick setup here. Let's say 60 frames and say I will rotate this at say 360 degrees here so rotating wheel null is following okay I'll take this wheel here and M for motion and I'll go to rotation set it to follow wheel number one in the pitch ang angle here and okay take this follow train pitch X like this and as you see all three wheels are following I'll then need to have this bar follow here uh, and info motion position and I will set this to follow the null object that I put in here in the dead center so I follow this and I'll follow this in the C axis and I'll follow this in the Y axis like this and for this I need to turn off world co coordinates and you will see now that the bar is following very nicely here so far so good then I'll take this and I will start over here by moving its pivot point because we need the pivot point to be in here. By the way, if anyone from New Tech should see this video, please tell me or please do make some update that makes it possible to make an undo on moving a pivot point. Apparently in LightWaves there is no undo when moving the pivot point. So, back to move object here and I'll just switch to wireframe and move this down here like this. And I will need to drag this out to the outside like this 
I could have extended this, but it doesn't really matter for this example. And that is it. I'll then also tilt this one to position, follow the null object, worlds to the Y and to the C. And what you will see then is that arm is also following. But I will add to this to if I move around here, I'll take this hydraulic cylinder here, move it out, and as you see here it's layer 4, so I'll tilt this in the motion panel to target uh, layer 4 here. And what I get by this is this nice animation here. So, from the side view here I'm going to take this and drag this back a bit so it fits. Okay, I'm then going to go into the motion panel again here and I will need to this to follow the null as well and I'll need to set the world coordinate and I will need to say instead of interpolate I'll set this here compensate and I'll set this to the C axis only so I drag this out and as you see stuff is happening but it is in reverse so I'll take this say minus 100 and we're going. So I can now take this, go back to my state here and in the top view I'll take this which is to be the end of the hydraulics and move this around and I need to check the distance here for the axis so Let's take a look here. I just scroll this. As you see, this runs fine. I can drag this a little closer. This was too close. You see up here, I'm going through, so I need to drag this a little more out like this as you see the slider bar here it should have been cut a little further but this is just a model so you hope you uh, hope you understand this so uh, now this is working it's a nice, tra nice train rig with hydraulics uh, but um, to use this any further you need of course the train and so on and you need this to be able to follow the train and right now you can't follow the train because everything isn't linked up to something so what I'll do here is I'll put a log hill no object here let's say this is a train for example I move this out here I'll be sure of course parent in place is turned on and I'll just start parenting here to the train parent to train um parent to train parent to train it seems I'm just going through here parent to train parent to train this parent to train and this parent to train so whoa I have something funny going on here 
for some reason. Apparently I made a key from here. I'll erase this. And you should see now I can move the rig around up and down and when I scroll here I can set rotation still so I can say frame 60 360 you see it's running and it doesn't really matter now if I move it so uh, of course you could do one more thing that is you can instead of just animating this let's kill this key I can try setting up some motion controller for the wheels and I'll go select relativity and in the relativity I got the relativity doctor here I'll say in the p-axis I will ask the doctor to go a wheel rotation I then guess get this dialog into the item driving this rotation I can pick and say self or pick parent or something I'll say pick parent see if this works okay my wheel is 162 millimeters and okay and okay by doing this then if I move the null here you see the wheels will automatic run so I can run the train slow or I can run it fast and so on so this was a little bit of wheel tutorial for the trains I hope you enjoy and uh, have fun <laughs>